Hi, I'm James Campbell. Welcome to Integrity Marketing Solutions. Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about my 12 rules for sales life and getting into rule number two, which is prospects buy for their reasons and make decisions emotionally, and they justify those decisions intellectually. And all this is coming up through Revenue On Command. guys. So rule number two of my 12 rules for sales life is that people make decisions emotionally and they justify those decisions intellectually. So again, like I said before, it's really important uh, for me especially to have this kind of track to run on, right? Kind of rules to follow as I go into each one of my sales opportunities. And so for you to do the same thing, to have some of these rules and guidelines, it's going to help you uh, in so many areas, right? To, to be focused and strategic about how you go into your sales opportunities. And what do we like to say? Um, failing to plan is planning to fail, right? So it's very good to have some of these hard and fast rules. And so as we talk about why people make decisions emotionally and then they justify those decisions intellectually, it also goes back to what we talked about before, to recognizing that when people come into your office, when they come in to uh, consider hiring you or not hiring you, right? Um, they're they're going to make that decision on an emotional level. It's going to be like a gut feeling that tells them it's the right thing to do. They're going to justify that, you know, in their head. They're going to justify that through intellectual reasons, okay? So you have to have a little bit of both. But if you don't get to the emotional part, then we're going to be in trouble, right? We're not going to have that compelling uh, value there to actually help people. And it kind of goes back to what we said before, is that uh, when we're selling a high ticket item, something that is both complex and expensive, which, um, you know, hopefully that you're in that, that, that element of your practice, of your business, where you really are helping people solve problems and you're not just selling them some product or service, right, or some stack of documents. Uh, to do that, we have to understand that there are certain layers that we have to get through. Um, I love this slide here. This is going to show us uh, this picture of a doctor, right? So if you're an attorney, you're going into your, your sales opportunities, you've got to kind of take on this doctor frame and recognize that there are three elements of pain. On the top, you have your surface level problems. Uh, that would be things like if you're in estate planning, I want to get my ducks in a row, get things kind of crossed off the list. Um, below that, you're going to have intellectual reasons. And that's going to be the cost of long-term care is X, the cost of your plan to help me pay for long-term care is Y. How do I figure these up? Very simple, intellectually. But below that, the most important aspect is personal impact. And if you think about it, that's where a doctor really focuses his conversation. He's not talking about how the surgery is going to go and all the different procedures he's going to do and the different tools he's going to use. He's, he's trying to get to where does it hurt, What's the problem that we're trying to fix here? Let's really zero in on that and make sure we make a great diagnosis before we get into solving this problem. Now, put my name up here. Yeah, there we go. And our logo. Come on, come up there. There it is. Okay. Uh, so very important that we recognize people are kind of like onions, right? That we're going to have to get past these surface level problems. We're going to have to get past these intellectual reasons, and we're going to have to get into personal impact. Now, how do we do that? How do we get to where people are expressing their emotions and how they feel, and they're connecting the dots between the problems that they have and the pain that they feel, right, to an emotional state that is fixable by your service, okay? So how do we do that? Well, we have to use very strategic questions, okay? Again, if we're asking questions that are in this vein versus we're educating them about what we think is important, remember rule number one, prospects buy for their reasons, not yours. Rule number two, people make decisions emotionally and they justify those decisions intellectually. So if we're not going for the emotion, and we're really missing out. So some of the things that we can do are just to ask questions and then use active listening, okay? Really, you should be uh, taking notes with your prospect. What are their fears? What are their goals? What's this costing them? 
How difficult is it? What, are they, what gives them anxiety? What keeps them up at night, right? Making a list of those things. How do they feel about that? What we want to listen for are some of these bells going off in our, in our mind. This is a list of some of, my, uh, some of the pain words that you can be hearing and listening for while you're in your sales meetings, okay? Aggravated, alarmed, angry, scared, struggling, stunned. They feel vulnerable. They're worried about something. Something is unclear to them. Maybe they feel guilty or they're fed up. When you hear these words said by your prospect, that's your cue that this is an emotional point. This is worth diving into. A little bell should go off when you hear them say these words. And your follow-up question should be something like, that sounds really important. Tell me more about that. You mentioned that you were worried about this. How difficult is that for you? We have to dig in. We have to get to the root of the problem, into that emotional state, into that personal impact in order to really bring people out of their shell and tell you the truth so they can get past those uh, surface level problems. They can get past those intellectual reasons. They can be comfortable talking with you about those issues of personal impact, the emotional state. So keep that in mind, rule number two, as you're going into your, your sales opportunities here, that people make decisions emotionally, they justify those decisions intellectually. Uh, that's what we have for this week. Hopefully that you can join us next time where we'll look at rule number three of my 12 rules for sales life.